looking on my progress. So I'm working uh, on environment for reinforced learning algorithm uh, to solve some trading problems. Uh, right now, the, my main file is this one. And this is my trading environment. And right now, uh, when I test it several times, it's not working good. Um, and uh, I need to improve uh, this environment and trying to understand uh, what is the problem there. So I returned to my uh, my main Jupyter notebook. So I decided to, to download data for the last two years. It would be uh, five, uh, five minutes bars. Okay, let's look in. And then what I need to do, I need to create uh, more resistance lines and support lines. Uh, because uh, on the previous video, what I show you in my environment, uh, uh, we have uh, not enough uh, signal, and I decided to create more uh, resistance lines, support lines. Uh, but it's, uh, I would like to improve for this one. I need to create uh, more uh, fundamental levels uh, because uh, I'm, I'm trying to analyze uh, the levels because uh, this is only uh, techniques of market. Yeah, It's like uh, mechanic of the market. It's not some technical indicators. Okay, let's look in and join this data set. Okay, and then I create my uh, signal and I really find the, the dependency uh, it is some breakout, uh, and for example, if this is some coefficient, yeah, breakout. Uh, if uh, this uh, coefficient would be, I have uh, too many signal, but it's low quality. It would be few uh, less signal, but high quality. And I would like to show you what happens if I going to use this high quality signal. Okay, and. I created the signal and then I would like to show you some map of those signal. And let's look in um, let's look in only buy signals. So, so I do what value counts and I display it. So you see um, for example is this count of all signal when uh, we have any signal and sometimes we have a cross yeah between the uh, level of support line, resistance line, sometimes we have a cross. It's the same for sell signal. Let's look in here. Yeah. You see, sometimes we have a cross, uh, but I need to improve this part also. Okay, uh, this is my trading strategy. Uh, so I implement uh, some trailing stop. And right now I would like to take uh, profit like uh, 0.6% and stop loss will be only 1%. Also uh, there I implement some trailing stop and when I, I run it I have more signals. Let's look in. It would be more than 100 signals I guess. Um, Yeah, it's about 200 signals. It is more than previous video. Um, okay, and you see average profit uh, for per trade is uh, more than commission. So it means I can use it for production. And total profit would be uh, more than 30% for the last uh, two years. Okay. And let's look in what happens there. Yeah, I implement this one. For example, last uh, signal was on 5 October for signal sell. Um, I like uh, this one because we have 66% uh, win rate. Uh, it is good, so I implement like uh, profit USDT because uh, this back test uh, when I trade. Uh, only one Bitcoin, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, 
percentage and net profit and time open trade and time close trade. Yeah. This information is very useful for me because uh, when, I'm, uh, when I look at this information, I have more ideas uh, how to improve my environment. Okay, let's look in. What is the last signal? Yes, yeah, it's 5 October. Okay, and let's print uh, those results. And you see we have some profit lines. Yeah, it's 200 uh, trades. Uh, and I think uh, it's not bad. Let's look at the net profit lines. I think it would be profitable, but it's not good in general. Yeah. But in general, for the last two years, it would be about 20%. 20 yeah, it's not enough. And I need to improve this one using reinforced learning. Okay, and what I show you would like, yeah, I would like to show you how I plot this all charts. So I, uh, I'm using a plot a library. So I plot this candlestick with volume, and also I defined all my open trades, closed trades, some signal, resistance line. And let's look in what is, yeah, and we see, for example, um, we have some resistance lines, and when we break out these resistance lines, I open sell position, and then I close this position. Yep. Okay. We see. Okay, this one we have only sell position. Let's look in uh, another signal. Uh, let's take the previous signal. It would be minus two. For example, when, when is, okay, yeah, this would be not profitable. I'm trying to also trade this breakout, but uh, this are some reverse, yeah, you see, reverse, and uh, I close this one position, but I think uh, I need to improve this one, yeah, because uh, this one, I, uh, I implement some trailing stop loss and some logic uh, how to track uh, uh, my profit or loss. Okay, let's look in another trace. No, minus three, for example. Uh, okay, it would be trades, number of trades, so uh, signal sell profit, yeah, is about uh, 0 0.70. 7% uh, time duration, 15 minutes. Okay, it's working. Let's look in, for example. Okay. Yep. So also the sell signal. I try and choose entry point from this resist resistance line. And then I implement this uh, training stop. Yeah, and training stop is working very fine for me. This logic what I implement. Mm. Okay, okay. I would like to find some trades uh, when I, when we have uh, buy signal. Let's look in. Oh, again, sell. Too many sell signal. Okay, buy. Yep. So this is a buy. Uh, we have, uh, yeah. I guess it would. It was some deep drawdown on the market because we achieve support line number two, and this one I'm trying to uh, enter on the market. Yeah, this one, and then I'm trying to implement uh, the maximum of profit. Okay. So when I'm looking on these charts, I have some ideas how to improve this one. Um, right now I create uh, some uh, rules. This is um, simple rules without any reinforced learning or machine learning logic. It's only rules like um, take profit, uh, stop loss and trailing stop loss. Okay. But right now I not implement uh, some ideas uh, how to reverse signal because sometimes we have um, 
break up levels, but um, we have a reaction and we have uh, counter reaction on the market. And I should to change, for example, from sell signal to buy signal. Yeah, this one. I'm trying to look for. Let's look in, for example. Mm, I guess it was here. No. Okay. There is uh, too many work how to improve this one, but mm, I need to do some data science work. I have to analyze this data. Okay. So right now I know this mechanical rules for uh, trading strategy is working. And I really find some feature with predictable power and I show you. Um, let's look in where is this breakout. Yeah, for example, like this one. And let's try to remember the statistical, yeah. Average profit and total profit. So I decrease this breakout yeah, and it means uh, total number of trades it's in improve. But uh, these uh, parameters of this trading strategy would be worse. Okay. This is like, like some liner correlation. Okay, yeah, it's a map of my signal. This is very informative uh, table for my trading strategy. Maybe I'll explain it a little bit later. And then let's run this simulator. Okay, what happens? It should be increased number of trades, but decrease average profit. And average profit, I think, would be less than 0 0.2. Yeah. So you see, total number of trades is in increase. Um, how many total profit? Oh, okay, this total profit is um, increase, but our problem is commission. Yeah. Now let's look in on this one. Okay. What about commission? Oh, it's not good. But in general, it's profitable. Uh, it, it is good. And let's look in if we decrease this breakout point. Okay, two. Okay, we increase number of trades. Oh, okay, it's, it would be more than. 300. Let's look in. Average profit for per trades is decrease. And it should be, I guess, 0 0.1 or 12. Okay. Oh, it's less than 0 0.1. Okay, and you see uh, the statistical decrease. And right now, yeah, you see is some total profit but the strategy is not profitable right now because uh, it's too many commission so but number of trades is uh, it's increase okay and let's look in the last one this one and the results uh, would be worse but number of trades in increase okay and I know I find something what influence my uh, trading strategy and this feature is working okay you see number of uh, trades is increase total profit okay we have a good total profit and average profit is 0 0.05 percent and it would be not profitable if we exclude commission but Mm, I think um, we can use reinforced learning um, to manage our um, ma um, manage our trades more effectively. Okay, let's look and explain. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. For example. Um, Using the reinforced learning algorithm, uh, we can optimize entry point. Yeah, 
and also we can optimize uh, trailing stop loss and optimize uh, take profit so we should understand what we are going to uh, optimize because if you if you uh, want to use an first learning to uh, algorithm to find something something magic and I think uh, your strategy would be un unprofitable uh, you, you should understand what you would like to improve on your exist strategy for example I have the strategy and I would like to improve my entry points uh, my trading stop loss and also uh, take profit yeah because I know the strategy is um, profitable and feature what exists on site in the strategy is profitable and is working this, fe uh, this feature has a predictable power and I'm trying to improve this one and this approach would be correct for you uh, and you could try to find uh, your own feature yeah and of course it's very hard to find some feature uh, because I used those feature what I'm using on my, um, on my from my trading experience when I trade uh, without any machine learning with some mechanical behavior on the market okay but in general in general uh, if I run this one I mean my default uh, my default parameters and I can generate say pro some profit as a backtest for the last two years and it's working uh, not bad when we have a flat um, and um, it's okay there's only one feature what I'm trading but I'm going to implement uh, maybe one more thing what what I trade in, in the past and it should be working also okay so what does it mean for me I identify the problem of trading what I'm going to improve yeah and next I'm trying to uh, implement this all logic uh, to my um, file of end of signal it means environment of reinforced learning and there I'm trying to improve entry point training stop loss and take profit it, this is three different uh, task but I know what I should to do yep it's not some magic and some unreal expectation from from machine from your machine learning or reinforce learning I know right now it's working but I would like to improve uh, this result and my basic version before this uh, AI stuff it would be this one yeah like some basic model and my plan is uh, to use um, maybe machine learning like triple barrier to improve this one and also reinforce learning to improve this one I mean as a both stuff to understand uh, what would be working better but I think reverse learning will be working better okay so let's see you next time bye